let's get these bottom floors open as well. I divided this up somehow. Mm -mm. I just let them hatch and use that nice room to drown the babies. With number 15 or 20. Oh, I see. Don't forget the doors and sweep automation. Ah, I won't, Johnny. No worries. Why you don't have transport tubes? Because uh, they're a massive noob trap X team. Unless you've got a massive base really far away. Uh, unless you've got a massive base and you've got something really far away that you're working on, you don't really need um, transport tubes. They're a massive noob trap. They take a lot, a lot of power. Unless you're moving somebody from here to there, I wouldn't bother with them. Um, just getting around your base, you get fire with fire poles and stuff. Cost a lot of power for what they are, a lot of plastic. And you think of all the energy invested in the plastic that you use to make the tubes and stuff, before you know it, you're very much in negative. So, I wouldn't recommend them unless you're doing something remotely. I normally like to have them from like late game, I'll do one from my base to oil and stuff like that, but for the most part, unless you're building something really remote from far away from your base that needs regular tubes sort of maintenance, I just wouldn't bother with them. Not one bit. Uh, OCD triggering to the max. I know. Make a ladder on the left side, then it's even with one space. No. No, no, no. I'm just going to leave it like this. Would we be able to fit five on each layer then, though? But not that over by one. No, it still wouldn't be even, would it? Um, <clears throat> Shut up, Nalaj. How dare you? Uh, you can maybe make it into a, a ranch with clever use of doors. No, this is going to be... I, I wanted to ideally have my hatch, sage hatches down here and then drop my fertilizer down, but I don't have enough room. This is the space I've allocated. This is the space I'm using. So... It'll be fine. We'll be okay. Um, there's somebody I've missed from here, by the way, and I don't know who it is. So that'll be third. Oh, no. I think these are all done over here, aren't they? Lyra, Banhi, Ruby, Devon. Devon is. Uh, all right. Lyra, Ruby. Lyra. Banhi? And Devon's already done. Uh, the Capis, thank you very much for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Uh, let's put Devon down here. Is that everybody else? Yeah, I've missed somebody out. I don't know who it is. Need to put some automation in, uh, which will be something like uh, this. And we'll put a little clock sensor in here. Uh, power room will be able to put all this on one circuit, no problem. Just need to run a wire over here. There's, there's some spare ones here, there's no problem at all. And then plumbing. I think we're going to do a bit of a zigzag of plumbing through here. Um, I've not left myself much space because I've built into the walls for my oil pipe over here. But I think we'll be able to figure it out. Be okay. And we'll just use the water that's in here. It's at 30 odd degrees. I can't see it getting much warmer than that. It's pretty warm because we've been pumping wild you know oil out, you know out the asteroid wild wild oil out of the asteroid one it's not oil and two wild oil um just random polluted water out of the asteroid but it will cool down over time to like whatever temperature this is like 16 degrees when it pumps out so we'll leave that as it is uh, people are suffocating devon's probably gonna die which is awesome i like that a lot
Good work, everyone. not just auto ship the goods to the hatches yeah of course good luck and i've got room between both of these these fertilizer synths to um send it to a hatch room if i wanted to i was thinking about that before just doing a little conveyor line instead it'd probably be cleaner to be honest but what mex has said before kind of makes sense just leave my hatches in here wild but the only thing is it means that the the coal will be all over the place and if they lay coal in the middle here even if i have a sweeper here they, they won't be able to reach it like a sweeper is four tiles either side so I think I might just pull it out of there and put it somewhere else. We've got four of these sage hatchings now, and I think that might do us for now. So I'm going to stop feeding my normal hatches dirt, I think. We'll go back to uh, feeding them something else. So hatch. What have we got? We've got 400 tons of sedimentary rock. What else could we feed them? Sandstone, We've got 275 tons of sandstone. We'll feed them some sedimentary rock. How about that? We'll get that dirt back in case we need it for something in the future. Uh, I think I just did all the jobs, didn't I? Unless somebody else has dinged without me realizing. Um, bubbles as well. Yeah, this shit takes too long. Too long. Don't like it. Uh, okay. Priority nine. We want this done now. Uh, still for each row, place in the middle for the pump. It's okay, I build it now. What's it you say? 100% organic free range asteroid oil. Honestly, I'm just a bit fried today. I've had a bit of a long day, believe it or not. Right, that's that done. Uh, meanwhile, I should probably be carrying on doing a bit more digging over here, to be fair. Because uh, this is going to be natural gas gens over here. Oh shit, I've not been keeping an eye on this at all. Oh, we've got eight. Beautiful. Uh, how many eggs have we got in here, though? I can see one. Let's let's make egg. Incubate. Uh, they are really working through the CO2, as you can see, because our, our chlorine levels are falling right down here now. So we're going to have to start feeding these soon. We do have some carbon dioxide in our coal gen room, but not actually that much. So we're going to have starving starving slicks this soon if we're not careful. So I do need to get the... Um, I do need to get the... Yeah. Natural gas gens up and running soon, so we can get start getting some CO2 to feed our slicksters. Uh, this should just be off now. Once we get this set up. So, um, the other thing we're going to need then, we'll just put in a couple of auto sweepers. Uh, we might need to knock out the tile above them. Yeah, knock out the tile above them. And then we'll need a loader. Uh, in fact, no, I have to do this with two. I can't do it any other way. I was wondering if I could do it with just one loader, but there's no way I could put the sweep that would work. That's fine. Put you there and you there. And I want some conveyor rails as well. I'll just go to there. Should be fine. Should be fine. There's a good chance this will build up first, but it'll only move fertilizer when we need it then, which is absolutely a-okay with me. 
uh, not wild, ranch under it and drop the fertilizer there. That's what I was originally saying, Max. That was the original idea that I said. Because this is going to be, eventually, excuse me. The reason I've got this little platform there and this little platform here, eventually this is going to be the bottom of the base. There'll be a water lock here and then exosuits and then our oil access will be down here and down here. That is the plan. That's why I've got these little markers here and there to let me know what I'm doing. So I was going to do like a little, you know, pneumatic door here, pneumatic door there and do a little ranch for sage hatchings there. But with only having two tiles of space, I couldn't make an airlock. There's no way I could have made a perfect airlock to stop the natural gas coming out. So it wouldn't have worked. It would not have worked. Would have been a nightmare. Wouldn't have enjoyed it. So, that's just what it is. I think this would actually be fine. I think this would be enough cooling. But I'll probably put some temperature plates in here as well, just to be safe. Uh, that'll be fine. Yeah, I'm looking for utilities. No, fine. bridge into there, that'll be where our liquid comes in. And I'll split it evenly each way. Uh, maybe I should use some igneous rock. Instead of using granite for everything. Mm, no, we'll use granite, fuck it. Uh, we'll do some of this business. We'll just use a hundred tons of granite in there. Why not? Why not? <clears throat> Sedimentary, my dear Watson. Very nice, Nalash. I wonder if critters can hatch from conveyor rails. That is a very interesting idea for science. Um, let's test the theory. Can have a very dizzy egg. Fuck. A very dizzy egg. Well, let's try it. Mm, conveyor bridge. Like that. Slap on a loader. Mm, like so. And give it some power. For science! I imagine they I imagine they will because they, they do allow state changes on conveyor rails now. That's one of the changes they they fixed a little while back. So I think they're going to be able to. But meh, we'll try it. We'll see. Why the hell not? How are our little shine bugs getting on? Hmm. Expecting. What? Oh shit. Got too many eggs in here. Hmm. 
piss on it. Uh, we'll just take one. I'm going to take the one that's closest to hatching as well, just to troll me. Um, if it's possible to set an item to pass along a conveyor, it could allow you to keep track of the number of creatures in a room. If it's possible to detect when items pass along a conveyor, it could allow you to keep track of the number of creatures in a room. How so? How do you mean, Nico? I don't know how I don't know how items being on a conveyor would help because the problem with critters in a room are some are in egg form, some of them aren't. Like I thought about doing it with weight and stuff, like basically filling an entire floor with pressure sensors, but that, again, that only works with certain critters. Only works with hatches and you know things that stay on the floor permanently. Um, I think it's just one of them very difficult things to do. I think it's just going to be a pain in the ass. Have we got nine in here? Oh, we got an egg. Okay. Got a little Draco Island here. I don't know how they keep falling off here, by the way. I don't understand how it keeps happening. But we keep ending up with Dracos down here. It's doing my head in a little bit. Oh, get this guy murdered. I think it must be on a save and load when you they fall off the side or something, but even still, I don't know how they fall down here. It's a bit weird. Okay, is our little conveyor built yet? Nearly. Um, let's put a... what egg should we put on here? What egg won't go missing? Maybe a hatch egg? Yeah, maybe a smooth hatch egg. Uh, smooth hatching egg. I just want one though. How can I do that? Sweep only. Allow manual use. Fucking egg. You bastard. Stop moving. So, 7%, 78. Right. Somebody remember. 7%. Okay? Mm. Okay. That 7% egg should come to here. Where's that egg gone? No, he's put it in here. Jerk. Hmm. But now it's two percent. What? Right, two percent one. Get sweeped. All right, let's just pick them all up, which I didn't ask him to do. Fuck it. Right, we've got five five smooth boys on here, alright? Fuck's sake. Yeah, I think they do. This was 2%, now it's 4%. Yeah, I think they do. Unfortunately, yes. Look at them go. Little eggs and baskets. It's like some sort of battery farm. Uh, Jesus. Does it give decor? Uh, I have no idea, Max. Why would it give decor with the eggs, you mean? No. <laughs> Fill it up, Life Krovsky. <laughs> I don't want it. They'll all hatch. It'll be a nightmare. Oh, Jesus. A bit 
a blink. It's like the kiddie roller coaster at an amusement park. Oh, I want to get him off here. God damn it. Well, we did it for science, alright? So I think what's happening now, by the way, guys, in the base, we've, we've, we've slowed down an awful lot because we've got things like this being done, like trying to compost shitloads of fucking polluted dirt and stuff. Uh, we've got loads of jobs that dupes are tending to. There's still 16 tons of polluted dirt to work through as well. So things aren't getting done very quickly unless I do them super high priority. Um, which is partly down to the fact that I've done such a terrible job of crossbreeding everything. And by the way, I don't just want to deconstruct these conveyors because sometimes you can lose the stuff that, that it's moving. So I'll put them in a receptacle first. Uh, if we can. Uh, there we go. Now we'll deconstruct everything. Uh, conveyor rails. So they should put three of them in there, and then the rest will go in the other place, I think. Ride's over, boys. Uh, are these happy again here now? They're not expected anymore. Glum. That's never good. I never did actually get my, my uh, natural gas being pumped, did I? I think I probably put the pipe in and then never put any power to them. Which is quite a stupid move, all things considered. Straighten this pipe up. It's bothering me a little bit. It's just bothering me a little bit, okay? Don't judge me. Uh, right, we need to run some power over to them, don't we? I think we use a fresh circuit. Yeah, I think we're going to mix this up a little bit. So you can be kept in case I need you for anything over here. You're going to become this thing. Like so. And then um, we're going to nip you off. I need to start using shift more. I'm so careless with moving wires and stuff. Uh, you can go all the way up here. The longest wire. How much gold have we got left? I bet we've not got much after that. Jesus. Still got 60 tons of gold amalgam in fairness. I'm not too worried about running out of gold amalgam, but not at the moment anyway. I will be in the future. I know that I'll be shitting myself in the future wondering where it's all gone. So how far did I go with this pipe? Did I actually connect it up? I did. Okay. Well, let's get rid of this vent in case I do anything stupid. And how are we getting on for critters down here? I've got too many eggs. Eh. Eh. Well, bambinos. Very good. Uh, 
Cool. Right, we can start getting some oil collected as well, I think. Um, so I can start filling this up. So let's get down here and slap a pump in somewhere. Montark, how's it going, buddy? How are you, mate? My dupes are not going to like coming down here. They're not going to like it one bit. Tough titties. Actually, I might leave this for a minute because there's probably a shit ton of oil in there. Let's leave this for a second. I'll just dig this out for now. Okay, all this polluted water's gone, so we can actually get rid of all this crap now as well. Uh, and this can all be deconstructed, I think. Yeah, all that can go. All of you can feck off. circuit so whatever this will be fine beautiful okay so now we can start getting some oil collected in our tank and it'll give us a bit of uh, breathing room down here as well we've somehow got a load of pakus in our oil Satanga, good evening, buddy. How are you? Um, did the sage hatch hatch? Uh, Agent Vixen, let's have a look. Not yet. They're probably very close. Seventy odd percent. Very close. We should probably move them to a better place. Uh, you did the storage up in the top. Nice. I did, Montauk. It was your suggestion, mate. I did. I slapped a load of the, up in the top. There you go. See, I do listen. I take these things on board. Um, I have a problem. Why are these pakus all? How did this happen? How did this happen? My pakus are being stored up here. They've hatched out of my fridge and somehow managed to jump a gap? To fall down there? That doesn't seem right. Um, oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. Well spotted. Forgot all about that one. Well spotted, sir. Okay. Mm. Right, are we now pumping some oil? Oil packers? There's like four of them here as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. Was it Packy sent on the joyride? No, it was it was um smooth hatches I sent on the joyride. Wait wait a minute. Where am I? Wait, 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 wait. Where are my smooth hatches?
Wait, I had like five or six smooth hatch eggs. Are they still in here? They're still in here. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't take manual use. I'm a dickhead. No, I think they. I think they must have jumped from here. I was only storing pakus in this one fridge. So I'm thinking they must have. They must have hopped over here, but I don't know how. There are some very weird things with critters at the minute.